Hey everyone, and welcome to another JMC vlog. I'm entitling this one, Things That Drive Me Crazy. And as a person that's dealing with either a chronic illness or a incurable disease, one of the things that drives you crazy is having to deal with medical bills. And um, this is a very aggravating thing to deal with, especially when the hospital that you sometimes are forced to go to, their billing department just is crap. I'm just going to say it. It's crap. And they do nothing to make it better, and it only gets worse. Well, in the past four, uh, going on five years, one hospital in particular has driven me mad. And my point of talking about this is so that other people who are dealing with Crohn's disease and um, diseases that help them rack up medical bills every month and every year and it becomes a stress I want you to know you're not alone here's my story so five almost five years ago I had emergency gallbladder surgery at the time I was working a part-time job where I had no health insurance my husband had just started a new job after being on unemployment from uh, getting out of the military and he did not have any health insurance yet when I had my <clears throat> surgery and other uh, follow-up stuff and uh, numerous um, hospital visits due to complications and initially we found out it was sort of the Crohn's, um, we racked up about $20,000 in one year in medical debt alone. Well, the hospital said, well, we're only going to pay off maybe a couple thousand dollars of this because, well, your husband makes too much money. So they only took a partial of it off, which left us with $13,000 in medical debt. And that's still what uh, initially what we have. <clears throat> Not including the new bills that we've been paying off throughout the months in the past two to three years from other hospitals and other specialists. Well, this one hospital in particular that I'm talking about where I had my gallbladder surgery and I have to go have tests run because it's the hospital that's in the town where we live. Um, their billing department just sucks. And it got so bad to the point where we had to stop actually mailing our bills to the hospital. We have to call in and talk to somebody to pay the bill so that we know it got paid because what happened a few months ago was the big $10,000 bill that we racked up five years ago. Um, we mailed our payment in. Well, not even a month later, we're turned over to collection agency because the hospital says they never received that payment. However, they never even called us, never sent a, uh, another bill saying, well, you're late on this payment. Uh, we never received your payment. Where's your payment? Nothing. They just turned us over. So I was dealing with that a few months ago. I deal with getting double billed all the time by them, having to call and say, well, you double billed me. I already paid this bill. You already sent me another bill. Receiving bills that I shouldn't have received. Well, <clears throat> last week, um, I got a bill in the mail, and it was for over $1,000. And it says my health insurance has denied paying for any of it. So I call my health insurance company and they said well we uh we've just paid that we we never denied the denied it and i so then i said well then i have to call the the billing department of the hospital again for another bill so i called them and the guy on the phone says um okay well and i said sir you guys are sending out bills to me before my health my health insurance even has a chance to even pay the, on them he says, well, well, we'll take care of that. He says, would you like to just keep that bill that we sent you and then mail in your $53? That's all I owe with $53. <clears throat> and I said, no, I want a new bill that shows the correct amount, not this $1,000 bill, but that if I mail it in, they're going to say, well, she only sent $53. Why should she only send $53? That says she owes over $1,000. I said, no, I want a new bill. So two days later, I get a new bill. <clears throat> now, Last month, now this, now the, Monday, this past Monday, I get a phone call. Oh Lord, my husband's looking at me like, Oh Lord, she's gonna tell it. 
And I'm gonna tell you, because this is what we go through. If if you, if you're sick, like you go through this, and sadly, you shouldn't. We shouldn't have to go through this, because the people that are working at these billing departments, they have to go through college. They have to get a degree to work in a medical billing office. So why are college educated people not doing their jobs? And they're getting paid a lot of money. How do I know this? Because my mom got the same degree. So I know my stuff. So we're, we're at Monday, this past Monday. Phone rings and I'm like, who the heck is this? I answer the phone and they ask for me. They says, Miranda there? And I said, uh, yes. And they said, well, this is so-and-so from from the hospital billing department. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. This is not going to be good. They're, they, they're, they don't want to deal with these people. So anyway, the guy on the phone says, I'm calling to make sure you got your updated bill for $53 and blah, blah, blah. And I said, yes, sir, I received that. And I, and I told him, I said, the, I said, uh, I said, if uh, you guys would just wait until my insurance company would have paid the bill, we wouldn't have to go through this. <clears throat> and so he, um, he asked me a few more questions, and then he said, well, do you have any other concerns? Well, oh, boy, did I ever. And I, <laughs> so knowing me, I opened my mouth, and knowing that this, he, he says it again, this call is going to be recorded for, for, uh, quality, quality service and training. I'm like, oh, let them hear what I'm going to say. So I say on the phone, oh, yes, sir, I have other concerns. And he said, what are your concerns? I said, well, my concern is that your billing department just can't get it together. He kind of, the line kind of goes dead. And I said, you know, I said, I am a chronically, I, I said, I have two Two diseases that are incurable, and I will have to be dealing with your hospital for the remainder of my life if I have to live in this area. I said, why can't we get your billing department straightened out where you're not having to call me anymore? We can get my bills, you know, okay, where we're not having to double, you're not double billing me. I'm not having to call until I call you all the time. I'm not upset. You're not turning me over to collections. You know, I told him, you know, a few months ago, you turned me over to collections, said you never received a payment, never gave me a notice. And he says, well, ma'am, I can add your this $53 bill onto your big existing bill. I said, oh, no, 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 you're not doing that. And he says, well, why not? I said, because I'm not having any more added on to that bill. I said, because uh, you may end up turning me over collections and I would get a bigger bill to have to pay back. I said, I would just rather take my little bills, keep them separate, and have that old bill by itself. <clears throat> so, I start, I continue, and he says, well, ma'am, um, I don't know about those previous bills, but blah, blah, blah. And I said, sir, I said, the point is, I said, what can we do to fix the problems with the billing department? And he says, I'm not making this up. I'm seriously not making this up. He says to me on the phone, this man tells me on the phone, well, ma'am, there is nothing wrong with our billing department. It's working just fine. I'm thinking, oh, yeah? And I said, oh, really? I said, then, sir, why are you talking to me? The phone just goes completely dead. And that's when I started to lose my temper a little bit. And I never yelled at the guy. I just said, well, sir, if your billing department's working so fine, then why are you on the phone with me? And why are you having to call me? And why are you having to send me a, another bill? Well, ma'am, I, 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 I. So, um, finally, where I couldn't get anywhere, you know, he, he's supposed to be taking my concerns, but he doesn't want to give me any answers. He doesn't offer me to talk to anybody else. I finally say, and whoever is listening to this recorded I said I hope maybe one day you can help figure out how to get your billing department started out because I'm really tired of dealing with this on a monthly to bi-monthly basis and I finally told the guy on the phone I said uh, sir I am at the point where I am so upset I said I'm just gonna hang up because I just don't want to talk to you anymore and I hung up on him so that's what if you if you're going to a hospital that has a totally screwed up billing department that's what you're dealing with. And that's what I'm dealing with almost monthly. <clears throat> now it's weekly. Because what happened just two days ago, um, after talking to this guy on Monday, 
I get, my husband pays my great big bill, my medical bill. <coughs> well, he pays it on the 7th, over the phone, has a confirmation number, everything. It's already been taken out of our bank account and everything. Guess what comes in the mail two days later? I get a double bill saying, your bill is due on the 16th of May. Another $50. So now tomorrow, my husband, not me, is going to call the hospital billing department again to file another complaint in less than a week because they're not doing their jobs. And why this is so messed up is because what they have done, they have outsourced the billing department. I have the bills for this hospital in Ohio, but the bills, when you look at the postmark, the address where they came from, they came from Michigan, others are coming from Tennessee, and others are being sent, when you mail them back, they're being sent to Cleveland. They're not being sent to Chillicothe, Ohio, or anywhere near Chillicothe, Ohio, Ross County, anywhere like that. So, God help us all who have to go to this hospital and deal with the billing department, because I'm not the only one dealing with this, because numerous people in our area have even just told us, like, I know what you're going through. I'm dealing with the same thing. They, they've just sent me three bills and never even billed my, my insurance. And then I got a bill, a collection, uh, saying I've been turned over collections for a bill I never even received a first payment for, a first bill for. <coughs> so... So that's the thing that drives me crazy. People who, and, and um, businesses who are more concerned about saving money instead of the quality of the care and the business they're providing to their customers. That's the end of my JMC Live vlog today. If, you, if you're someone who deals with uh, chronic illness and, or incurable diseases, yeah, I'm sure you know what I go through. And if you're not, and you've never dealt with this before, you got a little inside glimpse to the stress. It's no wonder my hair is falling out. You know? With things like this going on, it's no wonder. But, you know, praise God, the Lord is more powerful and more willing and able than the people we have to deal with on earth. They're human. They're going to make mistakes. But praise God that He can take care of us and He can take care of any situation we're in. So God bless and see you next time.